Hello everybody and welcome to Bryn's Madhouse. Travis, you haven't been here forever. No. Just, we, we've gotten very mad since you've been gone. So it's nice that you're here to maybe bring some uh, common sense back to Bryn's Madhouse. We're going to play deduction, right? No. Yeah. We don't need it. We don't need it? Alright, it's out of here. It's out. No deduction, Travis. Sorry, the, the, play the boss has spoken. <laughs> We're going to play practice makes perfect with no practice skills. Yeah. That's, that sounds bad. So, this is. Yeah, I mean, you know. Um, this deck, uh, the idea oh, sorry, comes the from a commenter. Not the bad house. That's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, this deck comes from a commenter who said it would be really funny on the video that Travis yeah. and I made for cards that we want Bryn to play if Bryn played the Necronomicon and then just uh, act of desperation did away. And then Travis just being like, what are you doing? So then I thought, actually, what we could do... Yeah, well, my mistake, thinking that you're going to play scavenging <laughs> and do something good with it. But the, but the thing is, then I thought, we could still do something good with it. We just, like, we empty the Necronomicon, throw it away, scavenge it back, and then just re... re uh, yeah, it was like, you guys were like, Minty Fang can put the cards. I'm like, oh, you're going to commit for five <laughs> books to trigger his ability, and then scavenge it back. Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're doing Rex. Like, Minty Fang could also do this, but I, uh, I think Rex could also be... Fun because Bryn, I don't, sure, sure. I think Bryn, yeah. was Rex on the list too. Maybe I don't know, but so we gotta grab the Necronomicon. That's coming in here for sure. And then the five cards. So we need the Scavengings, not the revised one. I don't like those ones because I'm I'm an old man and it's different. And I don't it's like when different. things are different. I don't like them because like the art's like universally worse. Yeah. Um, we're also going to play like one copy of probably Scrounge for Supplies because that's likely our best option to recur Active Desperation. We could also play uh, it's like a Fortune. It's a second. Fortune. Oh, yeah, we can't. That's what, wild. Did I send okay. you a fifth card on the text that I sent you? Play a Token of Faith. No, we're not going to play a Token of Faith. He's <laughs> in the art, Bryn. Uh, in that case, we're going to play. We can play Resourceful, right? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? I don't know where cards. So yeah, I think so. Yeah, I had the scrounge yeah. supplies, but I forgot yeah, that they sure were the fortunes are only events. Yeah. So we can like go to one scavenging, right? Because we don't need to do that more than once. Because we're just. How are you gonna find your scavenging? Uh, um, we just will. We'll be on our opening hand. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how we're gonna find it, Travis? Through other card draw, X draw, Impulse. unbeatable. Just put the D knowledge in the deck, man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh it. man, no. So what we're gonna do is okay. we're gonna play that uh, that stupid card you were playing today, uh, Feed the Mind. So then we can throw the Necronomicon <laughs> at it <laughs> oh. to draw a bunch of cards and then scavenge it back. It only. I mean, we can grab the upgraded uh, one. You know who else gets the cards back? The guy that we got for a spoiler, <laughs> Doctor Webb. Oh, Professor. Yeah, yeah. actually, Webb would be great he, here. Yeah, he yeah. Have, he might actually be better than scavenging, but we're gonna play the scavenging anyway. Oh, it's like a third copy of it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's actually kind of great. All right. So you know what else we need? We need more books to throw at people. So we're gonna. No, so we this need is book finding man. The man yeah. who knows where every book is in the world. All right. The Bruce the librarian. Look, if you're building your deck around one card, you're only allowed to play one of, and you have an opportunity but, to play two more copies of it, like... No, but Travis, we're not building around Necronomicon. We've, we've already pivoted. It's not just the Necronomicon. Yeah. It's all books are garbage. <sighs> <laughs> all books are garbage. Gotta save it quickly, so it's not... <laughs> Rex Murphy, I can't read. <laughs> yeah, I can't read good. <laughs> there are two other things good either. <laughs> Alright, so we want tomes. Um... The other the other way we could take this is yeah. we could uh, we could just play like Eldritch Sophist to siphon the uses of the Necronomicon into something else. <laughs> like Professor William Webb. Like the Yeah, so siphon yeah. the secrets off Necronomicon onto William <laughs> Webb, so we can use that to grab the Necronomicon back to put more on Professor William Webb to get rid of the Necronomicon and then we put <laughs> more on William Webb and then we get I feel like it's not doing anything. I love it, but it's not yeah, doing yeah, it. We're just like spinning yeah. the wheels real hard. All right, let's look at other secrets because if we're gonna do the battery, but I mean, I, I think William Webb is yeah. like the best choice here because it's more yeah. of what we want to be doing, right? Oh man, we can put more secrets on the Forbidden Tome, so then we can use the secrets on the Forbidden Tome to draw more cards. Or that's that one, right? Or is that the is that the Doom? Forbidden not the Doom, tome. the Cursed Token one. 
Forbidden Tome is the draw one. Yeah, yeah, so then we can draw more cards with the Forbidden Tome, but then we also have to draw more cards with the Forbidden Tome, and now we don't get to play the game anymore, really. Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. Yeah, we shouldn't like, do we that. Could, that one's, could. yeah, that one's, that one's a bit scary. That one's a bit scary. So was there anything else for the secrets that... I mean, just like... I mean, nothing wrong with nothing wrong with us also grabbing an Eon chart and throwing that at people too, right? Well, we can't. We can't. It doesn't take up a hand slot. It's not heavy enough to cause any real damage. Oh, I say at least one hand slot. My yeah. mistake. Yeah, it's it's just a necklace. No, that's foolish yeah. of me. That's very foolish yeah. of me. Do you know what takes up a hand slot? These big hunks of stone. I, you're not wrong. We could yeah. try to beat people to death with that too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. It also uses uses secrets. Yeah. So just so I mean, like the Necronomicon is a very expensive book. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Just so we're clear. <laughs> yeah, like we're gonna be building mostly a level zero deck here. I think. I think we probably want a charisma. Okay. Um. So then we can play our Eldritch Sophists too. So we're gonna run Eldritch Sophists. Let's do it. I'm down. Give me the Eldritch Sophist. Boom. Um, yeah. And then what's our payoff? I mean, glyphs. We're still, we're still just Rex, right? Like, yeah, yeah. No, at, at its core, at its core, we're still just a Rex. Still. I mean, okay. No, you know what? Actually, uh, cut, cut those. We don't, we don't want the Elder Selfish through the charisma. I've got a better idea. Okay. And one that'll make Travis happy. Okay. But we're not gonna get to it until we're, at, we're gonna save six XP for the last two cards. Okay. Okay. Uh, what would make you happy with this deck? Us deleting it. <laughs> No, I, I would like to do something with all our book symbols, so either uh, Archaic Glyphs to get a whole bunch of clues, mm -hmm. or uh, Ariadne's Twine to do something with the Necronomicon, I guess. Well, I mean, like, at its base, like, if we take out the jokes, <laughs> like, at its base, we're still, this deck's still just recurring the Necronomicon. And, like, yep. assuming we're using them. Like, this mm -hmm. is, assuming yep. that, like, you're trying not to just throw the book at people. Even just using the Necronomicon is really powerful. Should play, uh, Shock Rabbi. For oh, yeah, yeah. Stounding Rev? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and we can, we can make an exception because this one is so, because Travis is here. We can go to 39 experience because I do it's think Ariadne's Twine would be, like, kind of really good here. You know what? It's really good with Astounding Revelation. Practice makes perfect? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to play any practice skills, though. Do you really want to pay two, one to get two? I'd like to play Deduction. Can yeah, we're going to play Deduction. Yeah, yeah, deduction deduction yeah. always makes it. <laughs> can, can, can I like, do something, please? No. Oh, that's a horrible art. Yeah, shocked, uh, shocked, not shocked rabbi. Oh, <laughs> shocked baby. Basically, like, dude's head better. All right. So we're also going to play, like, a Perception. Because it plays really well with our Feed the Mind to try to draw the stupid parts of our deck that actually do something. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough space to play Evidence. Um, hmm. But, um, you know, that's okay. We're just, so, gonna, we're just gonna live with that. I think we, let's, let's, we will, we'll make an exception. We will bump this one okay. up to 39. Do you know what? You guys need card draw. We don't need card draw, we got Feed the Mind. We're fucking golden. We're just gonna play like skill cards to make it better. Now. You guys need horror soak. No, we don't. <laughs> we have nine. You're gonna take so much damage from feed the mind. Oh yeah. What does web soak for? He soaks for three sanity. That's not nothing. Okay. You're gonna have like four cards in your hand. And you're gonna activate feed the mind, commit the Necronomicon, and you get plus <laughs> one, and you're gonna like take seven horror and explode. <gasps> Man, that'd be so sick. It's for excess of your hand size, right? Yeah. Oh my god. That's so wild. That is like a lot of a lot of brain damage. <laughs> like a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, just like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I mean I, I didn't even consider that. I still don't respect it. We're just gonna try and throw away our hand every turn anyway. Yeah, so. sure. Spam. Someone's saying I just won a million dollars? No thanks. 
<laughs> All you have to do is wire this money to a Nigerian prince. I would do it. I would do it. I'm a good. I'm a good guy. Um. Okay. So we need to save six experience for the last two cards. Yes. So that means we have five more experience. What are some skills? Uh, we could just buy we like four more actions. Experience. Because we can go to oh yeah four more yeah yeah because we go to thirty nine not forty four more experience. <laughs> yeah, we could upgrade the deductions if there's nothing else. Uh, like, it's a fine thing to upgrade. Yeah. And besides, if we're going to be drawing, like, a kajillion cards, we have to discover clues before we explode. Whoa. Okay. Uh, the, the manuscripts feed the mind. That's yeah, going to be right. nuts. <laughs> Commit the Necronomicon? <laughs> Kill ourselves? Wow. <laughs> I'll draw that. Rex guys. is finally Thanks. free. <laughs> I mean, draw the token twice. What's that one card logical reasoning? Yeah. We could just run the level to 4 1. Yeah. We will have a shitload of clues. Yeah. You just kill yourself and then be like, nah, just kidding, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, thing we, one thing we could do here yeah. is we could remove one of our red cards. Like. Yep. Resourceful. Yeah. Probably the resourceful. Um. I mean, we could we could also feasibly lose the scavenging here. We could because, now that we have William uh, like Webb, we yeah. Web, yeah. and just play one of um, like our accessory slot is now Hallowed Mirror. Because if we're drawing that many cards and we are somehow unable to find space to play these to heal ourselves instead of exploding, mm -hmm. then we should explode. We deserve to explode. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, is there other off, like... Because Hellamir is good healing. Um, yeah, it is. Is there any other, other healing that could be better that's a level zero and not... I mean, like, we could play the whiskey for, like, on theme. Rex is an alcoholic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the Hallowed Mirror is played better with our, like, Cyclar deck. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um... Because then we don't have to make tests. I we think just do it. I think realistically, like even though like the scavenging is probably an easier cut, I think if we keep it in and just do lose a resourceful, we'll be more consistent with being able to grab things back. I think. I don't. I so like William Webb is also a survivor card that we can recur with. Uh, he is also yeah. He is also no. That's and true. He and soaks, he is also he soaks three uh, three horror, which is great. Yeah. Because that's less explode territory. Uh, and he also does um, have secrets, which we can refill with Ariadne's twine too. So if we get one, that'll yeah. last us the entire game. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. And even even if not, like we can just kill him and bring him back. Yes. Like it's a it's a viable thing. Right. Is there anything that costs, like, that's level 4 that's, like, a good one of? Uh, I don't I research. think there's anything <laughs> like that's, that's, just uh, a, that's just a good card. I don't think there's anything that's a better one of than just playing, like, two level 2 deductions. But yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. That's just, yeah. like, my opinion. I agree. Okay, yeah. so we have to add uh, 8 more cards, 2 of which are saved. 2 so of which are known. Why don't we... Two practice, two practice first, makes perfect. And two final actions. And uh, <laughs> another one. Travis is just <laughs> like woken up just <gasps> this. <laughs> I haven't breathed in years. Um, here, let's go trait practice. Uh, so plan of action. Now you just play six. Play yeah. over power to commit to our act of desperation test. <laughs> <laughs> Just squeeze one of those in there. Yeah. Uh, let me let. We'll do that if we can't find any potentially any other better uh, things for that slot. Yeah. All right. We can play stuff for our hand slots. Still, we could play like magnifying glasses. Yeah. That card is just plain strong. Yeah. Um, we are going to have some... This is the card that uh, we're going to add last also mm -hmm. does take up our hand slots, though, so we should oh, be okay. aware of that. Then, yeah, I think Probably we're not then. Yeah, but not then. I think we need something to make money to play our cards with. Uh, crack the case? Yeah, it could be crack the case. We don't need to play it our cards. We're just, we can throw them away from our hand. It could be, it could be a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, probably just emergency cash is just, like, just more consistent. 
Yeah, I mean, crack, crack the case is just literally free. Yeah. I'd play crack um, the case or burning over uh, mercy cash. cash. Right. It's a shame that we can't play burn after reading. Yeah. Oh, what do you guys like more, burning or crack the case? I Probably like, crack the yeah, case. Yeah, I like right crack right the case more, but. All right, Bryn, what's the last? All right, our last card. Yeah. Is from Edge of the Earth and is also another red card. Uh, it's the Ice Picks. We're gonna play. Ice oh picks. yeah, yeah, that would do it. Those are actually good. Yeah. Because they they both synergize with like winning the game. Oh, and, I need and, like, them back. People to death with a book. <laughs> yeah. Travis is happy. You were right. That's a good choice, Bryn. Yeah. Honestly, no. I think this deck's actually kind of like. Just yeah, like if we if we didn't off. want to play thirty nine XP, we yeah. could definitely shred, shave like. We could probably lose the manuscripts. That's kind of just to go with this thing. Twine and yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. This one has a Necronomicon and it basically just doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a um, neat deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one has rules unlike the other. Mad half decks, which are you're not actually allowed to just play the Necronomicon and win the game with that. That would yeah. be stupid. Yeah. You have to throw it away. What do you mean I can't just <laughs> play this like a normal Rex deck with my Necronomicon, my Ariadne's Twines, and then my, my practice makes perfect <laughs> and use the rest of the deck for trash. Travis is playing this. He draws like something's like, what the fuck is this? And he just commits it to a test. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, once again, if you ever play these Madhouse decks, it's just the doctor's recommendation. It's like how the doctor recommends to not eat a lot of potato chips, right? But Or, you know, like, not do ex lots of exercise following yeah. surgery. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't take the medicine yeah. that makes you drowsy, then operate a crane. It's just doctor recommendations. Do if you want to drive that crane, if you want to actually use Necronomicon, go for it. But you are legally responsible for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. All books are garbage. I mean, it's only at two least books. like these two books. Yeah, these two books. Yeah, we'll change that. We'll change that. We have to be better. These two. Oh, there's so uh, this computer is working surprisingly hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, another successful madhouse. Always a good time. We know you guys on YouTube love this, and it's good to have you back, Travis. Yeah. For you to just be like, what's going on? This is a deck. It's a deck. Oh, yeah, this one if is If I rolled like... this one, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah no, I think the deck actually would be I got quite, quite strong. Even though yeah. the Necronomicon is simply either a skill card or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, even you empty the Necronomicon, throw it at something, and then scavenge it back. is Because you don't even need to, like, succeed, right? It's just gone. It's like, it's a good way of refilling your Necronomicon. I do think Min would be better for this, obviously, because mm -hmm. she can like also scrounge to get things back. But this is, Min thinks the Necronomicon is good. good. Rex, not so much. Yeah, but then you wouldn't be able to play Hall of Mirror. Rats. <laughs> yeah, but we could play Grimm's Fairy Tales, which would be great, because we are going to fail our punch tests. Nah, man, just use a neck and I'll kind of get juiced. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. yeah okay, plus I suppose. 12, I suppose that is an acceptable use of the Necronomicon. Plus twelve to punch test, two damage. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. All right, huge thanks to everyone who watched this episode. Have a great rest of your week or day or whatever. If you're on some sort of other planet with something else, that's also cool. Uh, if there's anything you want to see us do in Bryn's Madhouse in the future, I have heard your comments that you want to see us do, as Bryn suggested, two decks to synergize with each other to go even deeper down the mad rabbit hole. So we will be doing that as well in the future. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, but thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.